Hello, boys and girls. It is time for our small group activity, and we're going to be doing some counting. So come on. Okay, boys and girls. So for this activity, you're going to need a book on counting, some Play-Doh, and some number cards. So what you're going to do is you're going to read the book. And I have a book here. And it is called Know About Counting. Let's read it. What number do you reach when you count all your fingers and thumbs? How do you write it? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you know how to write the number ten? Find it on our cards. Here we go. Ten. A one and a zero is ten. Did you count as you went up and down steps? How many steps are there? One, two, three. Four, five. Very good. Perhaps you learn to count by helping to lay the table. How many people are going to eat here? So how many people are in your family? How many place, places do you need to set? Perhaps you learn to count while getting dressed. How many buttons are still undone? Let's count. One, two, three. Counting is a way of saying how many. How many chairs are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now count again. How many umbrellas are there? One, two, Three, two are open and one is closed. How many other things can you count? Well, there's tables. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. How many shoes can you see here? Let's count the shoes. One, two, three, Four, five, six, six shoes. How many children are standing in them? One, two, three children. Each number has a shape of its own. Can you see all the shapes? How many of these numbers can you recognize? Which number, which of these numbers do you know? Find some counters. Can you make these patterns with them? How many counters are there here? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What sort of pattern can you make with this many? What kind of pattern can you make? This page is empty. What shape do we use to show that there are no counters at all? We use the number zero. Zero the hero. How well can you count? How many bricks can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bricks. How many shells can you see? One, two, three, four, five. And I see the little crab over here. How many zoo animals are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many counters? One, two, three, four counters. Are there more counters or more zoo animals? Good, there are more zoo animals. How many people are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many of them are standing up? One, two, three, four, five. Well, actually four, because this one is sitting on a horse. So that doesn't count. Count these marbles. Are there fewer blue marbles than green ones? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 marbles, wow. All right, now we have to count the blue marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blue marbles. Now we have to count the green marbles. One, two, Three. Is that all of them? Three green marbles and what do we say? Seven blue marbles. So seven is bigger than three. So there are more blue marbles than green ones. Look at these two boxes of eggs. Which one contains more eggs? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. How do you know which one has more? Because this number is bigger? Yes. Or it fills up the container. Count these lollipops. If you ate three of them, how many would be left? So let's count the lollipops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lollipops. Now, if we take away three, okay, so we're going to stop here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there would be seven lollipops if you ate three of them. This tray is laid for tea. How many more cups are needed? You can see these cups here, one, two. How many more plates do you see? One, two. Two more plates for tea. Can you recognize these numbers? Can you put them in the right order? Let's point to them in the right order, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Very good. How 
How did you learn to count? Did you use your fingers and thumbs? All right, so you can go through the book and do the activities and do the counting. Then you can have your child pick out a card. They don't have to be in order, so just you can mix them up. Have your child pick out a card. So let's pick out this card. What number do we have? Number seven. I think there's two cards there. So number seven. So then you're going to have them trace the number with their finger. Oops. Trace the number with their finger. And then remember to count the dots. So remember to let them know that the dots tell you what this number represents. Remember the number tells you how many dots are on the card and the dots tell you what number this is. So then you can take your Play-Doh and roll it out. Let me get a little piece here. For your younger children, um, they would just roll it on the table. And then I'm making a huge mess here with my Play-Doh, but that's okay. Um, I'll get it. It's never been used, so it's a little. All right. So you want to start rolling it out and let's see he's not doing a really good job at this. I'm going to take this little piece off here. Oops. This wants to separate. All right. So then you would have them make The number seven. Okay, so they can just um, roll out the play doh and talk about the um, features of the number. So the number seven has two, um, well, one straight line and one diagonal line. Okay, the number eight has two um, circles or you can kind of talk about that because some people make it with the circles and some people do it that way. Um, you can talk about um, the number four has four or it has all straight lines. Um, and so they can, it can they can make their um, Play-Doh um, like that, the make it all straight lines. And then um, just talk about the you know, have them lay the pieces of Play-Doh on the card. And you can make bigger cards than this, obviously, because um, these were just ones that I'd used for another activity. So I just used them. But you can use bigger cards. You can make, like, um, you know, on a construction piece of paper, uh, eight and a half by 11, I think it is. So you can make it big with the dots. So you can do that. Um, and then... Um, Depending on the level of your child, um, you may need to assist them with rolling the dough. That's fine. And, um, you know, have them um, put it on the, um, the cards, the number cards. Um, and then to begin with, start with like one through three and then um, move up to one to five and let the child choose the card and count and trace. Invite them to form the dough along the outline of the number card. So you're just, you're helping them along the way. Um, and just continue with that. And um, once they learn one through five, then you can go to one through 10 and so on. And one through 10, then they can move on to one through 20. And again, talking about the attributes of the, the features of the number, whether it's straight lines, curved lines, diagonal lines, um, however you would want to describe it. So if you do this activity at home, the questions to think about are which numerals 
Was the child able to recognize? In what ways did the child grasp and manipulate the dough to form numerals? How long was the child able to attend? And was the child able to count to the appropriate number? So for example, if you're doing um, one through three, were they able to count one through three? Um, one through five, one through 10, one through 20. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, this is a little bit more involved activity, but um, still a good rainy day or inside day activity. Um, if you don't have Play-Doh, you can make Play-Doh with a few simple ingredients and I will post a link um, in the description for a recipe for Play-Doh if you want to give that a try and um, you can you can um, have your own Play-Doh and this one is a, a pretty good recipe and it's supposed to last um, a good while. So. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video.